In this video, I will show you how you can build full stack apps just like these ones by using a tool that is called Zoar AI, which is an AI powered app builder that can create full stack apps with real backends and user authentication just by typing some simple prompts in a beginner friendly interface. So, if you want to learn how you can build amazing apps like this and also how you can monetize them so you can start making real money, make sure you watch the full video because I will show you how to do both. And without further ado, let's get started. Now the first thing that you have to do is to go over to zoar.ai which is completely free to get started with so make sure you actually go and sign up to it so you can follow along with this video. Now the first app that I want to build and I kind of build the tracking app and in order for me to be able to build this app all I have to do is to describe to Zoar AI exactly what I wanted to do in simple text language. So for that to happen I will come over here and I will type I want to build a habit tracking accountability app where users can create an account, add daily or weekly habits they want to track like exercising, reading, meditation, etc, etc and log their day's progress. So show streaks and completion stats and I also want a feature where users can invite an accountability partner who gets notified if they miss a habit or don't check in. This is why we actually massively incentivize people to stick to their habits simply because their friends are going to see oh this person is slacking off what is he doing which indeed will make the person way less likely to slack off in the habits that he wants to do and then I simply say there should be a feed showing daily progress or streak milestones optional you can add in a motivational AI assistant that suggests new habits or gives encouragement messages and then I specify how I want the UI to look like I say please generate a clean modern UI with a dashboard, habit list, habit detail view, daily log screen and accountability partner section. The UI should be dark just like this example. And now what I will do guys is I will search for nice looking UI, simply find one that I like. Let's say I really like this one for example. I will simply come over here, download it and then come back over to Zoar AI, simply click on attach file, upload the UI and just download it. This way Zoar AI has a visual example of exactly how I want the app to look like. And then what I really want to show you is over here in the integration section, Zoar gives us access to all of these powerful functions. First of all, we can come over here and enable this and have an actual backend database that is native to Zoar AI. We also can enable the authentication section and our app will have user authentication, which means that not everyone will be able to log in. They will first have to create an account and then they will be able to use our app. We also have file upload, which basically enables us to upload different files and images inside our app and all of this is going to be stored in the backend as well. And then we have the brand new feature that I just added, which is AI image generation, which if we enable, it is going to allow us to use Nano Banana, which is the most powerful text to image generator on the market right now. By enabling this feature, it allows us to use it inside our app. And also the most useful feature in my opinion, which is Stripe payments, which if we also enable, we can receive actual payments in a Stripe account by only inputting the Stripe publishable key, a Stripe secret key and a webhook secret key, which you can find by going over to your Stripe account and simply taking these three different keys and inputting them over here and then clicking on save. And if you're wondering exactly how you can do it step by step, I will leave step by step documentation underneath this video as well. But since I don't want to leak all of my private information, let me actually fill this in and I will be back once I have. Alright, so I filled in my Stripe payment information as well. And now that we have enabled all of Zoar's super useful features, what is left to do is to simply come over here and click on Enter. And now Zor AI gave us this brief of what is going to go and build and if I actually sit there and read it, it is exactly what I wanted to do. So all I have to do now is to simply come over here and click on build up. And now as you can see the real building process is going to start. And over here to the right Zor AI is going to start writing all the code for our app. So all you have to do now is to simply sit back in your chair and wait till it is done. And boom guys, Zora AI just finished creating the app. And as you can see, we actually do have user authentication simply because in order for us to be able to use the app, we first have to go and sign in into our account. Now since I don't actually have an account, I will have to come over here and click on the register now and then I need to input my email address and my password. But for this example, I will actually choose to register. So let me come over here and fill in my email address and my password and simply come over here and click on create account. And boom guys, we successfully managed to log in inside our app. And as you can see, 
this is an apps interface with a do on it it does look very good and that is because we gave your ai access to an interface that we already liked that's why in manuscript such a good looking interface and that is a hack that i think every last one of you should always use but now let's come over here and explore our interface as you can see over here we have our active habits our today's progress and our best trick and right now we don't have any top habits and that's because we simply need to go and add some habits ourselves and how we can do that is by coming over here and clicking on manage habits this section will open up over here where as you can see we can come and add in a brand new habit that we want to do for example let's say we want to start reading more i will come over here and I will type in start reading then for the description we simply need to give a description I will simply say start reading one hour per day and then for the frequency we can set this either to be daily or weekly let's leave it on daily let's also give it a red color since it is very important and then come over here click on create habit and boom as you can see the habit is successfully added over here in the my habit section and now let's say we made a mistake we don't actually want to hit this here all we have to do is to simply come over here and click on delete which is actually going to delete this habit and the same happens with all the other sections of the app you can simply click on them and add in whatever you want but what i really want to show you is not the front end interface of the app that we just built is the actual back end database that we have in our app because if i come over here and click on database we can see that we have a fully functioning back end database over here which includes all the users that I have created an account in this app, which are in the accountability partner section. And as you can see, we have all the information over here. Also the activity feed, if we add something there. Then we also have the habit logs, logs for different habits, refresh tokens, basically how many times we have refreshed the app and a bunch of other useful information along with user profiles, which basically includes all the users that have created an account in our app. Which means that we have a fully functioning backend database in our app that we just managed to built with just one simple prompt which if i'm going to be honest is completely ridiculous guys and i have not seen any other ai builder being able to do this but the main part of the video is not how you can build an app like this with zoar ai because i have already made a video showing you how to build a pretty complex app with it which i will leave a link for somewhere over here so you can go and watch it next but what i really want to show you is how you can actually monetize this app and get users to it and how you're able to do that is by First of all, come over here and deploy your app to make it public. So all you have to do is to simply come over here and click on deploy to production. And as you can see, our app is being deployed right now. So all we have to do is to simply wait a few moments till the full process is done. And boom, as you can see, the deployment process just finished. And over here we have a live website, which if we click, it is going to take us in the interface of our app. And just so you guys can see, this is an actual real web URL, which means that our app is being hosted in the web Right now and the best part is that you can do way more things with zoar ai specifically they recently added a nano banana integration which means that you can create an image generation section in basically any app that you build with it so just to show you how this actually works all you have to do is to come back over to zoar ai and type something like i want an image generation section where the user will be able to generate images using the integrated nano banana ai model and also to edit them which is the image to image function the nano banana offers so now all you have to do is to simply come over here and send over that message and boom as you can see zoar ai just finished making the changes and over here to the bottom we have a brand new image generation section which if i click we have the option to create an image from text also to edit an already existing image and we also have a gallery of images where all the images that we're going to create are going to be saved at but first let's test out the text to image generation i can simply come over here and type create me a nice looking logo for my ai and automation agency then i can come over here and select the dimensions that i want as you can see we can choose from all these options i will choose a square since i want to generate a logo and then I can come over here and click on generate image and now all we have to do is to simply wait a little bit till that image is done generating and as you can see it is done over here so all we have to do to view it is to simply come over here and download it and boom this is the image the nano banana generated for us and as you can see this is actually a pretty clean logo but let's say I don't actually like this logo and I want to transform it a bit maybe make it a little bigger and actually make it purple. All I would have to do is to come back in my apps interface, simply switch over to the image to image section and upload the image and then simply come over here and type something like make it a little bigger and turn it into purple and then simply come over here and click on transform image. Then I simply will have to download the image and as you can see it actually did turn our image into purple exactly as we prompted. But now you might say all oh, that is well and good Damien, 
I do have my app in the web right now, but how can I actually monetize it and start making real money? Well, to do that, you will have to come over here in the settings tab to where we can see our app's name. We can also add in a description about our app. I would advise you to do that. I will personally type in tracking accountability app. And then over here in the app's visibility, as you can see, we have already sent this in public. And over here, we have this parameter, which is how you will actually be able to make money from this app, which is by coming over here and changing this from free and setting a specific price. So let's say we want to make this app $10, for example. All we would have to do is to come over here and click on confirm. And then our app will actually have a price point, which means that every time somebody signs up to it, they would first have to pay this fee and then they would be able to use our app. Since I want to link this app under this video so everyone can access it, I will not actually make it a paid product, guys. I will leave this on free. But all you have to do is to basically come over here and set the price that you want your app to have. Because once you do that, then you also have some other options. First option is whether you want the Zor buzz to be visible or not. I will actually advise you to turn this off since you want your app to have your own branding and not Zoar's branding. And then you also have the option to enable Zoar's Copilot, which is basically this AI assistant over here, which if I click, it opens up this interface where the user can basically ask this Copilot any question about how he can navigate the app that he's on, which is a super useful feature in itself that Zoar offers to you completely for free in any app that you build with it. And I'm saying that this is a super useful feature simply because this is basically an AI chatbot that people charge thousands of dollars to build for companies and embed them inside the website. And Zoar AI literally gives you access to this chatbot completely for free, which is an amazing feature that they offer. So I would definitely advise you to leave this feature enabled since you do want your users to be able to use this compiler. And once you have done all these changes, then it's time you actually sit back and start making some money. And that is because if you have set your app settings to public, then your app is going to be featured over here in Zoar's community, which thousands of people visit every day. And as you can see over here, we have a bunch of other people's project that also have a price point underneath, which means that if we want to use this app or even take it exactly as it is right now and build upon it and improve it and then sell it as our own product, we would have to pay this price. Because if I come over here and click on open in Zora, for example, you can see that I'm first prompted to pay the price of $10 with Stripe and then I will be able to access it. And that's what I meant by Zora AI is basically going to do all the work for you because they have already integrated payments via Stripe and they also promote your app in their own marketplace that every day gets thousands of visitors. And the best part is that since we have enabled Stripe in our app as well, that means that the price that we have set will be able to be paid with Stripe and immediately when a person uses our app and pays our fee, the money is going to go inside the Stripe account, from which we can then withdraw them into any bank account we might want. Which means that you can start getting sales simply because you used Zora AI to build it and you left it public to be displayed in the marketplace. But I do want to show you how you can take this a step even further so you drive even more users to your app. And you're going to do that by using an app like Instantly and running cold email campaigns. And specifically what I want you to do is first of all find some qualified leads to which you can market your app to. And how I personally do this is I go over to an app that is called Apollo.io which is basically a massive lead database to which you can search for the exact type of customer that you want. So let's say you're selling to real estate agents, you simply come over here in the top, you search for real estate agents and then over here you can set up a bunch of filters. For example, you can filter by the job title, you can filter by the location, I have inputted only in the United States, you can also filter by employee size, as you can see I have inputted some employee sizes over here and you can basically filter for all of these options as well which means that you can craft exactly your ideal target avatar. And once you have a list of your ideal target avatar, all I want you to do is to come over here and export this list from Apollo and then go over to Instantly and set up a brand new email marketing campaign, which will have the goal of promoting your app and it's going to bring even more users over to your app's listing, which some of them are going to end up converting and paying you the fee that you have set up in order for them to be able to use your app. Now I will not go in depth on how you can set up email campaigns because I have already made a video in which I show you how to do that which I will put somewhere around here as a card but that is basically the full thought process behind it. You will first of all are going to use Zoar AI's own community which is more than likely going to bring you some sales and you will also actively go and find leads by finding them through Apollo and then creating a cold email campaign that promotes your app to them. So I think you can see that with Zoar AI you basically have 
everything that you need in order for you to build the full stack up and actually start monetizing it very quick. So make sure you go and click the link in the description and sign up for a completely free account so you can start playing around with it and build and monetize your first apps. And if you want to see another video that I did about Zora AI in which I went more in depth about how you can build a very nice looking frontend, make sure you go and watch that next and I will see you over there.